Okay, so let me just start off by saying hello. I I can't believe I'm saying this, but like I missed doing this. <laughs> and it was only a week that I took a break. Like <laughs> uh, I can't believe it. Like what? <laughs> I really like doing this. I can't like I already knew that, but I just I didn't realize that just taking a week break, I would miss it. Like turning on the camera right now, I feel so giddy and like excited. And I only just, I only stopped for one week, <laughs> which is like, I needed a little breaky break, but also there were other reasons that I'll get into in a second, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, okay. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to put some twists in my hair because my life has been in shambles, <laughs> basically. Um, let me just say this, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom has ruined my life. <laughs> insert Dave Chappelle clip for real for real like I'm not even joking <laughs> it has taken over my life who's coming in oh my gosh Meta's playing right now and he's coming to the room because I bet he's frustrated because he can't do something hold on a second all right he needed my password for the PlayStation he's on to put PS5 now I don't even know what he's gonna play probably spider or Miles Morales the spider-man game but Anyway, I don't even remember, what was I saying? Okay, oh yeah, so Zelda, yeah. My life has been in shambles because Zelda has taken over my life. I can't stop playing that game. <laughs> it's like, it <laughs> It doesn't even make any sense. I mean, it does make sense because I love like puzzles and I love solving things. That's like a big part of my personality. I love stuff like that. I don't do puzzles puzzles, but <laughs> like the ones where you sit down and do them. I don't do those. I don't know why. I probably would actually enjoy it as a quiet activity. Maybe when I'm a, when I'm a granny, I'll do those. <laughs> but for now, I love playing Zelda. Oh my gosh, Tears of the Kingdom. It's so fun and it's addicting and it's really like I'm a crackhead. Like my whole life is in shambles. My house is in shambles. <laughs> it's not that bad because thankfully <laughs> leading up to the day it came out, which I got on the day it came out, <laughs> leading up to then... I had I I I was so good. I was I got to a place where like all the laundry was clean. Like I was on top of all the chores. It was good. Like everything was good. <laughs> then Tears of the King of the Kingdom came out and boom. All out the window. It's not all out the window. Like I can still like I can still get it to a place very quickly where it's like okay, my laundry is back you know where it should be and Like, I haven't been taking care of my hair, I haven't been doing my twists, my skincare has been as minimal as it can be. Sometimes I won't even put moisturizer on. Because, <laughs> like, the thing about it is there's so many puzzles in that game, and it's like, you have to, it, they're not, like, easy puzzles. They're like, you have to understand, like, the physics of things in real, like, how they work in real life, and how things work in real life, how, like, aerodynamics, and all these different things, like... <laughs> It's like, in order to solve these puzzles, you have to, like, know these kinds of things, like, the general, the general aspects of these things. <laughs> Which I'm so glad there's not math involved, because mm, me and math don't get along, but yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's so fun, and I just can't stop playing it. My husband either, like, we both will stay up late playing it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have just, like, neglected all of my responsibilities all of my chores except for like the kitchen and dining room and living room area and like kind of my my bedroom but not the laundry i have not been keeping up with the laundry <laughs> but yeah so my life is in shambles and i need to get it back together so i'm like i told myself today i got up i was playing all day today <laughs> I was playing all day today and finally I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> stop being a crackhead about it. Like get up, do some stuff, like go get in the shower and do some stuff, like refresh, go take a shower so you can like wake up and get the motivation. <laughs> uh, and I told myself we're going up this as I'm like, no more Zelda, <laughs> no more Zelda for the rest of the week. And that's included in the weekend because I need to just get it together. I can't be doing, I can't do this. I'm a grown woman. <laughs> Like, what am I doing sitting here playing video games instead of taking care of the house? <laughs> I 
have some self control. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> that's been my life lately. Shambles. But the good news is I'm pretty sure we're like getting that house that I mentioned a couple of vlogs back. I'm pretty positive. <laughs> Which I'm so excited about. Like, ooh, I can't wait to get up there. And there me and my husband were like thinking like, oh, it'll be best to like hold it out as long as possible the move-in date so that we don't have to like break our lease here or like pay some crazy amount to get out of our lease or whatever I don't even know what we would have to do but now that we're like we're like pretty sure that we have it <laughs> we're like dang I'm ready to get up in there it's just gonna be so great but there's kind of these projects that we want to get done before we move in so we're trying to figure out like a timeline of like how that's going to go and then also my family is visiting in July which I can't wait for my sister and my mom everybody like I I cannot wait for them to come but then it's like dang they're coming in July and so I don't know what we're gonna do like are we gonna wait until after they visit to move are we gonna try to get it all done before they get here because it's only 10 minutes away from my house where we live right now so it's like no kind of no, none of the like plans would be disrupted I just don't want them to come and it's like we're like scrambling or like still have boxes all over the place or, or anything like that so we'll probably just end up waiting until after they leave because also like okay so they're like I want to paint the place I want to do it myself because it costs an arm and a leg and your heart <laughs> to have someone come paint like it's easy enough that I know that I can do it and I want to paint the walls like white some kind of white I'm not I'm not sure about the kitchen yet because I'm starting to have an, the idea that I might want to paint the kitchen pink <laughs> which I don't know how my husband's gonna feel about that but it'll, it would be like a subtle pink because the backsplash the tile on the backsplash is like this like rose quartz looking tile like glass tile and it just yeah so I have all these ideas that I'm like ooh, that would look so nice if I painted the walls like some kind of subtle like kind of neutral kind of like terracotta e or like I don't know some kind of pink that's like not pink pink like girly pink but something subtle and soft that's not so noticeable that it's pink but then also I want to paint the cabinets like some kind of cream color just to brighten it up because I think they're gray. I feel like I, I, I was trying to pay attention last time when I went there to do the expen in exp in <laughs> inspection. But now I don't remember. I'm like, were they actually gray or was I tripping? And then I also was like touching them and I kind of like get the feeling that they're not wood cabinets. Like they feel, I don't know. So it's like all these things that I don't really know until like we actually get in there and are like in the mindset that we're li about to live there now. So I don't know. There's like all these things though. But yeah, that's one of the things I want to do is paint the cabinets some kind of cream color to brighten them up because I love bright spaces. I want to paint the walls, all the walls in the house, like some kind of white, not white, white, but some kind of white to brighten up the space because... Right now, the like main living area walls, the downstairs basement rooms are white, but the um, like living areas and the kitchen and everything, dining room, those walls are gray, which I hate. I hate gray walls. Like it used to look nice to me and like, ooh, modern, but no, I hate it. It's so cold and like it doesn't go with anything <laughs> unless you have that cold modern like only like neutral colors not even warm not even warm neutral cold neutral colors <laughs> and it's just like it clashes to me it's just like this doesn't go with anything it's especially not wood it doesn't look good with wood colors to me like not dark wood which I but that's what we like we like dark warm woods so yeah so now I want to paint the walls some form of white and then we also want to try to get the bathroom remodeled because we would really love to have a bathtub and this right now the master bathroom does not have a bathtub 
So yeah, <laughs> then that's one thing that's like really important to us. We want to be able to have a bathtub and be able to bathe and soak and relax in our bedroom, not in like a guest bathroom or the boys' bathroom, which can be gross sometimes because they just tear it up. Like, why is there toilet paper all over the floor all the time? <laughs> Oh, there's a trash can right there. There's a toilet right there. Just throw it in there. But yeah. So there's a few things that we want to do before we move in. Another thing that we wanted to get done is a, a fence. We want to get a fence because there's no fence blocking. Like the neighbors, um, both of our neighbors next to us and behind us all have fences. So like the backyard is fenced in from their areas, but leading to the front um front yard and like out to the street there's no fence blocking so uh, we want to get that done so that the kids can we can feel like let like it's okay to let the kids out in the backyard and be safe and they're safe and we don't have to like keep an eye on them like like a hawk <laughs> you know obviously we keep an eye on them still but we don't have to be like so on guard making sure they're not going running out to the street even though it's a cul-de-sac so it's safer than a normal street but yeah so so yeah it's just like a, kind of a lot going on right now and I feel like that was part of the reason why I also needed a break because it was just like a lot of like thinking about things and like I was just in the headspace of like okay I need to think about these things right now I can't really <laughs> I didn't really have the like mental space to vlog that last week especially from playing Zelda, but yeah. <laughs> the combination of those two things, that's why I needed a break, so. But now I'm back and I'm so happy to be back. And I'm just putting in these twists right now so that I can <laughs> easily take Meta to school in the morning tomorrow and not be like, oh my gosh, my hair, I just, I'm just gonna throw it up in a bun because I'm gonna look crazy, but oh well, because <laughs> that's how I've been. That's how I was all last week because I was playing Zelda, not doing my hair. I like could wash it and condition it and stuff or, and put moisturizer in it, but that was the most. And I would detangle sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely wasn't doing my twists or like keeping it manageable, which always just bites me in the butt. <laughs> anyway, but whatever. I enjoyed the time. It was time well spent to me because I love that game. Like. I could just keep talking about it, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not going to because I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, don't fangirl out too much. Not that serious, but I think it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Another thing. Um, so what else? Okay, another thing that I've been thinking that I want to do too is I really want to straighten my hair. Or at least like blow it out. And I want to try the... um color wow I think that's what it is I don't know I forgot what the brand is but it's like a wow and it's like an anti-humidity spray it's a it's a heat protectant but it also it like it's supposed to protect your hair from humidity also so I want to try that like not even just on my regular curly hair to see how that affects my hair because I'm not really I really don't know how the humidity affects my natural hair I don't pay attention enough to know <laughs> Like, I just feel like my hair always gets frizzy no matter what, so I can't tell the difference of, like, is it the humidity or, like, is it just a normal frizzy day? Because <laughs> my hair does just get frizzy on a normal day. So, yeah, I would like to see how that would affect my hair or if that would help how it looks on, like, wash and go days. So, yeah, I want to eventually pick that up. I've been wanting to, like, go to, I think they sell it at Ulta. I don't know. I don't feel like being overwhelmed by going into Sephora right now. I feel like Ulta is more chill. Nobody really bothers you, but I don't know if they sell it there, so we'll see. But I would like to go to Ulta and see. Well, I'm going to look online first and see if they even sell it there. And if they do, I'm going to go to Ulta and get it at some point. I don't know if that's going to be this week or next week. <laughs> we'll find out. But, yeah, that's another thing that's been on my mind that I've been wanting to do, but... First things first is getting this house in order because I can't stand it. And thank God that I've like signed, I've been getting the Home Chef stuff. <laughs> I get Home Chef delivered. We get Home Chef delivered every Sunday. <laughs> 
So thank God for that, because I sure would be like our not as long. Along with our house being in shambles, our diet would be in shambles too because I would be just ordering ordering takeout because I get so wrapped up in the game. Time passes by and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's time to cook dinner. <laughs> or, oh my gosh, I should have started cooking dinner like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, so yeah, shambles. But luckily our diet's not. <laughs> and I just went to the grocery store yesterday after I dropped Meta off at school and got some stuff for smoothies because... We haven't been on our smoothie stuff. I've been mostly doing like oatmeal or like stuff like that. Yeah, just pretty much really just oatmeal. And, or I won't even eat breakfast because a lot of time I'm, I'm really not a breakfast person. But yeah, like every once in a while I'll get in the mood for pancake. But other than that, yeah, I'm not really a breakfast person. Like I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, I want some bacon and eggs. I don't even eat bacon. We don't eat pork. Uh, we'll eat turkey bacon, but yeah, I never, I never crave turkey bacon. It's not like a thing to me, and neither is sausage or turkey sausage or chicken sausage. None of that. It's not like a factor <laughs> for me. Like I'll eat some. I'll so every once in a while I'll crave like boiled eggs, but I haven't been even doing that. I'll just mostly do oatmeal or cereal, and that's been it. But yeah, I want to get back on our smoothie stuff in the morning for breakfast just so we can be even more healthier because one thing that I do notice when we do the home chef my stomach is a lot flatter like what I cook it's carb city <laughs> and I'm like bloated all the time because all we eat are carbs when I'm just like cooking on my own and making my own recipes and doing whatever we love us some carbs over here <laughs> rice pasta anything any kind of carb bread like that's what we're gonna eat. But yeah, so the home, it's nice to do the home chef because we get more variety and also they're like, they're pre-portioned so I don't overeat, which I've noticed a lot that it's like, oh, this is the amount I'm supposed to be eating. I used to way overeat, <laughs> like before we moved here, like even before, like when we, before we, not moved to Charlotte, but like, yeah, when we first started doing home chef, that was when I realized, and we started in Charlotte, that was when I realized like, oh, I've been super overeating, like, <laughs> uh, and I know how it all happened too, but I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, and now I, another thing that's been on my mind too, like, oh, I need to start getting my fitness in order because I've been, <laughs> because of Zelda, I've been noticing like, woo. I'm a super couch potato playing this game. I'll be sitting on the couch just playing the game. <laughs> and it's like, I'll go and like, if I, if there's a day where I have to do multiple errands in one day, I feel it in my legs when I'm at home. Like if I'm up on my feet all day or a lot in a day, it'll feel like I worked out. And I'm like, that's sad. Like, girl, get it together. Ew. <laughs> Why do you feel like you had leg day in the gym when you were just standing? When you were just walking around? Not running, not jogging, walking. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, yeah, girl, get it together. Seriously, like, I have a, um, a rebounder trampoline, so I need to, like, pull that out of the garage and get on it because I don't like this. <laughs> uh, and obviously it's not just from that week. Like, it's just built up over time from back when I first had Meta, like I have never been a gym girly. I've never worked out, I've never had an exercise routine. I just now like, um, when we were living in Charlotte, found out, realized that like, ooh, tramp being on the trampoline is something that I actually really enjoy and that's a form of workout. So that's one that I really like. Also riding bikes, bike riding, which I've been wanting to try as main class because I really love riding bikes. It's just so fun to me. So I want to see what that's like because I know it's like more high intense it's more, what am I trying to say? <laughs> high intensity? I feel like that's not right. High, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. It's more intense of a workout. So, so yeah, I want to try that and see, like, will I like that even though it's high, high <laughs> even though it's intense because I enjoy riding bikes. And then another thing is I really love swimming. So that's another one that I want to try to eventually start incorporating with. But the pool that's closest to us is only an adult pool. 
But even if I, yeah, so I don't, I, like, I wouldn't be able to exercise, swim with the kids with me anyway, because they don't know how to swim on their own, really. I mean, Meta kind of does, but still, it's not like, I can't just let him do him and while I swim laps. But yeah, so I've just been, that's been on my mind lately, like, okay, get it together. You need to start, uh, build up a workout routine or an exercise routine, and then slowly build up to, like, incorporating weights into it, just because I would like to tone up and... You know, I had Adam. That's my last baby. <laughs> I'm not having any more babies. So it's like, okay, it's time. No more. There's no more. There's no other reason. There, there would be no other excuse in the future for my body to still be a mom body, basically. <laughs> like, it, 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 the only excuse would be laziness. So I need to get on it so I can be healthy because that's really the goal. It's not, it's not really for me about what my body looks like, which, I mean, a little bit. Yeah, like I want to be a hot mom. <laughs> I want to look good for my man. <laughs> I want to feel confident. But yeah, so, but also, like, I just want to be healthy. I want to live a long, healthy life. Like, that's very important to me. I think about it all the time. Like, dang, I just want to really live a long, healthy life and, like, see my kids grow up. And because I feel like that's, like, a fear for me is, like, leaving them too soon. <laughs> so I'm very, like, hyper aware of, like, when something's wrong with my body or like if things are like out of balance I'm very like hyper aware because I just always have that in the back of my mind like I want to be around with them for a really long time I want to be around for every milestone in their life I want to just be around for it all and for a long time <laughs> so <laughs> now I feel like I'm rambling but yeah so that's on the agenda get the house in order get my health in order and hopefully eventually get cute with my blowout <laughs> um, but yeah i'll talk to you guys later <laughs>